Hello guys and welcome to another Wobbles video and today I'll be showing you on self-learning sword fighting AIs. This is basically a second version of my previous project but um, quite a lot of things have been improved by then. Um, this is made possible by using a data data predict library which is a machine and deep learning library for works and Lua. So yeah. Um, basically, how this self-learning AIs learn is that uh, they taking some input, and then uh, it will those input will help it to produce output actions, and uh, the output actions uh, determine uh, uh, the um, the reward that the uh, that this AI will be getting. Uh, so, for example, if you want to make um, the uh the AI stay away from um stay away from the enemy when it's low health. We give them the punishment for going too near to the enemy, or maybe if you want to what is it make it move towards the enemy, then we uh give reward for going towards the enemy. So yeah, uh, this what the our reward um we would uh, function will look like because uh, it may seem a little bit too complicated but yeah since we want uh, our AI to learn uh, very different uh, was it tactics then this, uh, this is what we need to do anyway so basically what the input uh, what the AI takes in as an input is the NPC health percentage um, the viewing distance uh, towards uh, the uh, enemy or uh, the wall and it checks if it's viewing enemy or and then we have this orientation uh, difference which is the ang uh, angle uh, from uh, angle from the player to the enemy and then we have the magnitude as in uh, the distance uh, from the enemy so yeah um, the output and or should I say the action it will be A, D, W and S and jump as well as use weapon as well as none as well there you go uh, yeah the other controls are not used because they make the training harder and more complicated so yeah so basically so basically what you can see here is that is that um, this AI see, uh, looks a uh, um, how do you say this? Has much more smoother control than the previous um, um, previous project. It's like slightly consistent, yeah. So that being said, um, you can see uh, um, that um, some of them are trying to actually follow uh, towards the um, was it. Uh, towards the enemy NPC or AI and I think you can see that one of them try, uh, trying uh, trying to dodge all the uh, dodge all the uh, enemy AIs when it's at low health something like this so it's just staying there something like that uh, this one is probably an exception, exception here but still somewhat avoid, avoiding and uh, the AIs. Uh, if I'm not mis if I'm not mis if I'm not mistaken, that's actually you must say. See, <laughs> they're targeting um, targeting uh, enemy enemy uh, AIs and then take a break um, from uh, from other uh, from other enemy when it's low health. But I don't really say it's one hundred percent always avoiding enemy. So yeah. Um, what also I do notice that this uh, the NPCs does have the tendency to like to stick on the wall for a bit. If I'm, if you, if you notice. Um, but first, let me deal with the lag first. This one, this one you can see here, it likes to stick to the wall. I had to actually like uh, punish, uh, punish. Uh, punish the NPC for looking at the wall as you can see here where's my where's my punish where's my 
guess my is looking at the wall. There you go. So it's basically if it's not seeing enemy and the viewing this thing is less than three, you pretty much get it punished quite heavily. So minus forty. Yep. Also let let me try fighting one 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 on one. If there's any any improvement, actually. Oh, yeah. the pepper. It's gonna take a while. That's because it's saving the um. What is it? Uh, same. Saving the what uh model uh, the twin model parameters to the data store. But first, I need to change something. I need to disable this. Uh, okay, how do I off this? Enable. Yeah, disable that. Then we try ourselves to do number one here and see if we can observe this. Uh, also, the and the previous way, um, the previous version, um, the NPC recognized that um, you, if you're looking at the back on, uh, away from, uh, from the, uh, away from, uh, from the NPC or not, but for this particular uh, uh, version, is this doesn't will not happen. So yeah, Hold on. let me try to get this here. Okay, not here. There you go. Hopefully, yeah, it's probably it's a bit slightly you know, but what? Hopefully, I can. Yeah, it does try to actually follow me, but mm. okay, yeah, it does try to. Yeah, yeah, I don't like this. <laughs> Yeah, it, as you can see, it does. It will try to actually follow, uh, follow, uh, follow you. Um, but I still can't get um, some stuff called I can use. So let's see if I can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I broke it. I just, I just broke, broke this, this guy. So yeah, you can definitely. It will actually start fighting again. So yeah. Um, basically, what I use for the self-learning AIs is that I use uh, the uh, actor critic, uh, which is fairly, uh, fa fairly, fairly uh, popular, pop uh, popular model in the res research area. So I just kind of used it here. So we have like I don't know, five, three, one layer. Yeah, something like that. This the whole uh, code for the for the, uh, um, for the uh, for the AI thinking part. Um, previously, it had used very different, um, very different. Um, was it very different? Very different uh, algorithm, which is called the deep Q learning, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so I just changed it, and well. I can see like quite a lot of improvement from the PS one. Let's try, yeah. Mm. They probably get a better result if I actually train it a little more further. But that being said, uh, as you can see, it actually does uh, does work, but not not always. So yeah, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I do hope you guys, do go, uh, you guys like this, uh, like this vi uh, video and subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, help me fight this uh, so fighting your eyes. Yeah, <laughs> sorry, yeah. I do hope you guys um, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel and have a good day as well. So goodbye! <laughs>